We are going to try this one more time. My phone is overheating. There goes Noel. And that was Boyd over there. We're going to try this one more time. So we're getting Rosie off of the, uh, the van now. Rosie is from not such a great part of Hondo, Texas, and was rescued by one of our kennel techs, Ashley. And here's Miss Rosie. And she, oh, she is so, so sweet. You're going to be just fine, darling. She's all stiff. Oh, it's okay, honey. Thank you for adopting her. Let us know how she's doing. After Rosie, we have Wheeler. Okay, are you getting Wheeler? All right, Wheeler's a cute, one, one of the volunteers wanted to take him home, just so you know. She says that he walked beautifully on the leash with her, and she said that was her favorite on the trip. So, and Wheeler is also from a private rescuer that I work with down near the border of Mexico. And she found him literally starved to death. So he came to live with us. He did so well. He's real friendly. He's like, a, I would say like a Walmart greeter kind of a dog. Yeah, you could take him anywhere. He loves everybody. Life of the party kind, you know, one of those. He's a good boy. Right, Parker? You came to see me, huh? He's very handsome and he's so well behaved. Yes, he is. So Mr. Wheeler is coming off the van. If you are just tuning in, the name of our group is Tracy's Paws. Look at him. Tra Tanya, I told him you wanted to keep him. Uh, could you see me dash across the parking lot? You didn't see anything. <laughs> Love this dog. Hi, there you go. He's so sweet. He's a good boy. When you tell him to sit, to potty, when you tell him to potty, he walked right and he's the only one that goes really that way. This morning at five days, I had another run of a boy. Can I pick him up? Can I pick him up? Oh, yeah, go ahead. You can pick him up. You're going to come over by me, I know, honey. He's a good boy. There he is. It's a good boy, Wheeler. You be good. All right. Now we have Heimich coming off. And, yep, we're going to get your picture over here. Now, uh, Heimich is one of our Roma, Texas puppies. The mama is Naila, who is a big black lab. And I had nine of these babies at the rescue with me. Wow, look at that. Oh, nice. Somebody's getting kisses. Oh, is that sweet? Oh my gosh. He's gonna be hungry and thirsty and yep. Make sure you get a crate when you got a puppy. Please get your picture down there, thank you. All right, we have Lena coming off next. Lena. And Lena is one of the little baby chihuahuas. Uh, she is from Brownsville, Texas. And she is sporting her new Live Like a Dog collar, which you can find on livelikeadog.press. Oh, look at her. Bless her little heart. She's going to be so happy to be off of that van. She's going to have a home now. She's lived at the rescue, and this is so nice for her. She's okay. There you go. All right, Lena, have a wonderful life, sweetie. Jack and Flash. Are you getting Jack and Flash? Wow. Gosh, so yes. Jack and Flash are Rhonda's fosters, and Rhonda is our mange mama. She takes all of our real hard medical cases. And these puppies are from a private rescuer down near the border that found the litter. And they were literally eaten up with mange. Except, wait a minute, wait a minute, I got that wrong. Jack is one of our Jack Russells. I was thinking she was adopting siblings. Right here, this little one is the Rhonda's baby. This little one was found on the side of the road. Yeah, what was that all about? There you go. <laughs> Cute. 
Look at him. Oh, Flash. There you go, Flash. He has all his fur now. The last time I saw him, he didn't have any fur. Look at that. They will be very, very good friends, good play buddies. Thank you so much. Keep us updated. <laughs> Get no, the next is Levi and Rue. All right, Levi and Rue. Okay, so you're getting a, like a real chunky, Levi's chunky. Yep, oh yeah, and then Rue's a cute little black and white. 